Hello and welcome, I'm Julia Quinn and this is my video for our Global Share Fair this month. Because it's our second anniversary, we're showing two cards, one design. And mine is a fun way to show off gorgeous papers. So my first card here is the using the artfully layered papers and the stamp set that goes with it and this little fun detail is here underneath. I've used a little bit of um, dies there as well and then the greeting on the front on that little fun fold. And then this is the one I'm going to demonstrate for you using the gorgeous Nature's Prints stamp set and the Prince paper, Pretty Prince paper. And I've chosen the Bermuda Bay version of the Pretty Pins paper. Okay. I hope you're enjoying the wonderful projects that we're sharing with you this weekend. Uh, and that you get lots of inspiration. Alright. First thing, I'll just get all my paper and supplies in here. Now I have the measurements for both of these cards. This one here in centimetres and this one here in inches and I can share them with you later on after I finish putting all the project together. But basically it's just a standard size card front. So it doesn't open up but it's like a postcard card front. And then there's a, a center piece that goes in the middle there and then we're adding all of these lovely papers to the card there. Okay, so let's begin. We can start putting all of these things together uh, uh, and then we can do the stamping later on. So with my center piece here, I'm just going to pop some adhesive in there and just line that up right about the center. And then with my Pretty Prints paper, which is cut just in centimetres, half a centimetre smaller and an inch is quarter of an inch smaller than the whole the whole um, card base. Okay. Um, as I said, I'm using the Bermuda Bay paper and comparing that with Coastal Cabana. Alright, so there's your basic card. And then for this front, fun front panel, I've got two pieces here. Now they're both uh, square, 10 by 10 centimetres or 4 inches by 4 inches. And I'm just going to fold, I should get my bone score out, fold it in half on the diagonal. One, two, and then bring that back again in the center and then I'm going to do that with both of my pieces okay there's that one and then fold it on the diagonal give that a nice crisp fold and then bring it bring one side back to the center give that a nice crisp fold and then I'll put adhesive on the full um, I knew that was going to happen just replace my refill for my stamp and seal which is super easy to do just grab the refill and pop that in there okay so Put adhesive all on that and then I'll line up my fold right on the edge of my card there and squish that down so that's one side done. Sometimes you might, depending on how, um, you might need to trim just the little point off the edge there but that one's working quite nicely. And then adhesive on the other. And then line that up 
I'll line up that fold right with my very edge there. Pop that down, and there you go. Oops. There's the fun fold. Easy peasy. Looks really cool, but it's a very easy one to do. You've just got your two squares. Okay. And then this panel is for stamping. And then this one's for stamping on the inside. And then I need also to die cut. These are the natural prints dies that coordinate with this gorgeous natural prints stamp set. Okay, so you've got some outlines for all of the, a couple of these, as well as a beautiful wreath and this great label die that fits the greetings in really well. So we'll just pop them aside, put these ones aside as well and bring in a mini stamp and cut and emboss machine, which is a magical little machine. Uh, my cutting plates, my white cardstock and the label just in the middle there pop the lid on and run that through there we go okay pull that out there move that back out of the way and then we've got put you over there our beautiful label there okay now I'll just bring in my piercing mat to stamp on. So I've got my label, my inside panel, and the one for the front of the card. And with my Bermuda Bay, I'll stamp the best wishes and happy thoughts greeting. Wow. I wonder if that's going to be able to be camouflaged. Best tweeting, best wishes and happy thoughts. There we go. And also with my Bermuda Bay, I'm going to put hello there for the center of my card. Hello there. Look at that great font with the beautiful free flowing. And also with my Bermuda Bay, I'm going to stamp this lovely detailed little print design a little bit on the bottom and some down here so that it shows up this will be on the inside of the card and it will show up see how this is here it'll show up underneath the the fun fold and I have to do some more camouflage work with my next bit of stamping. Oh yeah, that's the Bermuda Bay done. Then I've got Coastal Cabana. And for the full fern. Okay, pop that one up there. Oh, that one didn't stamp very well either. Working really well here, aren't I? So I'm going to stamp the fern again. Um, just beside it. There we go. And where else do I need my fern? I need my fern on this one here. Pop that over there. A little bit down there. Give that a clean. And the last bit of stamp here I'm going to do is this fun splodge. And splodges are how I'm going to Camouflage my mistakes. Stamp off. There we go. And then stamp off. Put my splodge there. Stamp off. Here we are. That should be probably enough. And then I might stamp off twice for the greeting so that it doesn't take over from the greeting. There we are. That's all my stamping complete. And let's finish putting the rest of this card together. Okay, bring this one back in here. All right, so this long panel here goes right in the center here. Oops. There we are. And little bits will peek through. 
And then this one here is mounted on this Coastal Cabana piece. Now, I'll show you a little trick because this goes on the center here, but I don't want it to be showing up underneath there. So what I'm going to do, I'll just put my adhesive on. Oops. Is, hello there, hello there. Pop that on here right line it up because it's exactly the same width Oops. and then fold my card over it to stick it on so that it's perfectly hidden underneath all right and then the last thing i'm going to do is put my best wishes and happy thoughts on and i'm just going to flip that over and make sure i leave that in exactly the right place so i only put adhesive on that side and don't overlap so that I don't get adhesive where I don't want it to be. There we go. There is my best wishes and happy thoughts card. Hello there. Okay, with the beautiful pretty prints paper. That's both of those. And there's lots of tonal varieties in that beautiful pretty prints paper. Here's the original. I'll show you. And I've also made this card with the Nature's Prints paper that goes with the Nature's Prints stamp set in the beautiful blues. And this is the one, the first one I made. I just wanted to show you, I actually did some die cutting with the layered dies, but I think it was just a bit too fussy with all that paper, which is why I eventually decided I would just do the stamping underneath. I hope you're inspired. I hope you enjoy all the rest of the amazing projects that we are sharing with you this weekend. Bye-bye. Uh, please, if you are interested in ordering anything, order from the demonstrator who invited you to this group. And make sure you stick around all day long, all weekend. You'll see some awesome projects. Bye-bye now.